Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we will discuss about policy push in uh, uh, real estate and manufacturing sectors. So we will uh, try to understand and analyze the scenario what is happening in this particular area. So if you see like uh, how this uh, evolution of like Indian manufacturing uh, uh, sector has actually uh, progressed over like a uh, different times. So majorly this period is actually divided into like a uh, uh, four segments. The first one being like a uh, pre-independence area uh, uh, or the time. So at this time actually most of the products were uh, handicraft based or uh, they were uh, majorly like uh, exported in large numbers before the like a uh, British era like uh, started. The first actually charcoal fired iron making was attempted in the Tamil Nadu in 1830. And then India's the like a present day largest conglomerate, this the Tata group started by Jamshed G. Tata in uh, like uh, 1868. Then the slow growth of actually Indian industry due to like a reg regressive policies of that time. And uh, there was like Indian industry grew during the two world war periods in an effort to support the like a British uh, in the war. So there was a entirely like a different kind of scenario as you can see over here. India was not actually an independent country and it was actually driven by the British for their own benefit and interests and uh, the two world wars actually they were the actually driving forces and India was majorly actually uh, utilized as, actually, uh, as a resource country from where they actually sourced a lot of like resources and India was extensively actually exhausted for its uh, like resources. Well, later on actually things change. India got actually independence. Let's see like what happened during uh, this period from like 1948 to like till like a uh, like globalization period of 1991. So in during this period, uh, Indian government's actually focus was actually into uh, uh, developing and growing like a basic and heavy industries. Okay, and they started with actually uh, with the concept of uh, these uh, five years plan. You may have heard actually of these uh, Panchavarshiya Yojanas. So these were these were actually uh, plans of like a, on the five year basis uh, on the reg uh, regular interval. They were actually framed, implemented, and reviewed. So this is how actually the uh, the independent India started actually functioning to develop uh, uh, its uh, like a uh, industrial sector. Then uh, a comprehensive industrial policy resolution announced in like a year of 1956 and iron and industry, uh, steel industry, heavy engineering, you know, lignite projects uh, and of uh, fertilizer projects were actually uh, taken as, as the, the main uh, like a basic uh, basic like uh, industries and uh, industrial planning and uh, policies were actually framed to promote actually the uh, these uh, like uh, industries. Uh, why is steel? Because the steel is actually backbone. We have discussed in the previous like a uh, the the LC actually lecture. Steel is one of the actually uh, backbone actually materials for like a today's actually uh, the te te technology based uh, uh, these uh, uh, actually manufacturing. So steel was actually one of the very important actually materials to uh, start with for like a development and growth of the India. Then focus actually shifted to agro industries as a result of many factors while license Raj actually grew into the country and uh, public sector enterprises grew more inefficient. The industries actually lost their competitiveness. So what happened during the uh, this period of time like uh, uh, it's a very famous actually uh, a story of this uh, license Raj like how this uh, uh, the, the government actually uh, uh, employees and the uh, the authorities they actually uh, kept actually files pending for processing and all that as the overall actually uh, these uh, uh, this lacune actually industrial sector actually suffered and uh, industries actually lost uh, some of their like a con uh, competitiveness in face of the like a world. So the several other uh, economies, several other countries who actually uh, started functioning as an independent countries uh, in and around around the same time of as like uh, India's they grew actually much faster and they actually went uh, quite ahead but at least uh, india started its uh, coping up with the uh, with the new actually uh, world order and uh, post like a 1991 the globalization uh, reforms which actually the government of india adopted uh, at this point of time so the indian markets were actually open to the global uh, competition uh, with the LPG reforms and gave way to the private sector entrepreneurs as a license from K, uh, license Raj came to an end. So actually privatization was, privatization was actually encouraged and promoted and the uh, public distribution uh, systems were also kind of uh, like a uh, uh, refined and uh, the uh, markets were actually open. So the Indian market, the consumers, the people of India, they had actually option of like a buying uh, stuff which was made, made like a elsewhere out of India as a, like a, a normal like a consumer product.
earlier it was actually tightly controlled and any product which used to be like imported uh, in india uh, heavy duty was actually uh, charged as a like a import duty then uh, services became the engines of the growth while the industrial production saw volatility in growth rates during this period so service sector was the actually one of the uh, sectors which uh, got actually evolved quite a lot so it, this actually sector saw uh, a huge jump in terms of like a, a creating actually new service sectors and uh, increasing the footprint increasing the volume of it so this was actually one of the major actually outputs of the post uh, post actually globalization reforms in india and msme is like a micro small and uh, uh, like a uh, these uh, medium uh, enterprises in the country were actually given a push through government's policy and measures so the uh, smaller size small scale actually industries and uh, manufacturing units were actually uh, given a lot of promotion because before that there were actually major companies only in the uh, government sector and very few actually companies in the private sector there was actually a uh, very neg uh, very little amount of actually very small number of actually uh, such msme uh, units were uh, existing at that point of time so this sector was actually given a very strong push uh, after these uh, 1991 reforms and in the present times if you see these are the four actually uh, major actually pushes with uh, government and the state governments are also uh, actually insisting on to like a promote like a make in india campaigns to actually manufacture and uh, fabricate in india okay so this was the one of the actually major actually policy pushes uh, which has actually adopted by the uh, current government and the previous governments also so this was launched to actually attract manufacturers and foreign direct uh, investments from uh, different countries in the india so these uh, uh, several actually multinational companies they came and uh, they actually started uh, uh, they actually uh, invested a huge amount of like a uh, capital and they started uh, manufacturing units production units in india secondly government is aiming to actually establish india as a like a glo uh, global manufacturing hub through various policy measures and incentives to specific actually manufacturing uh, sector so like a software industry it industry has uh, emerged as one of the uh, prime industries which india is has uh, actually attained uh, a uh, huge actually capacity and uh, power in this area and india is actually uh, uh, giving uh, providing its uh, services to most of the actually countries from across the world 70% of uh, manufacturing uh, units under the private sectors and then uh, gv at the basic prices from like a manufacturing grew at a cagr of 4.46% uh, to financial year like a uh, 19 ae at the current like a prices so there, there was a huge actually jump observed from like a previous actually times to actually at this uh, particular time so this well uh, there are a lot of like uh, other repercussions also so all of this like a major like economic boost and major boost to the growth and uh, uh, development in the industrial sector is going to have like a equal equally proportionate impact on the like a ecology so the question is whether india as a like a country is also prepared to handle actually those impacts so we will see in the like a uh, in the coming like a uh, lectures but first we will try understanding the, the this scenario like how it's uh, shaping up the, uh, the this industrial sector in india so the notable trends if you see there are like a uh, four notable trends observed in like a uh, indian market actually uh, in the recent times so this is like a uh, the with the help of the like a uh, policy and uh, these like a uh, decisions like uh, there were several like a uh, scj special economic zo uh, zones were actually established and a uh, specific sector of like a uh, uh, manufacturing or production units were uh, uh, given priority you know like a uh, given like a uh, one area and a uh, whole ecosystem was actually uh, economic ecosystem was actually developed to help them actually establish themselves at one point of uh, one place one uh, uh, at one point of time and they have actually they are uh, giving like a successful results so these actually acz's and uh, such like a uh, units were actually majorly uh, established for like a uh, exp uh, their uh, export driven actually uh, purposes so now india is able to actually uh, supply a uh, huge number of like uh, items with a uh, huge number of like a uh, volume even like a uh, service based actually uh, uh, renderings uh, is india is able to uh, render to the entire world actually currently uh, the next actually uh, notable trend uh, india has actually uh, recently seen in the recent years is the like a uh, uh, additive manufacturing based actually 3d printing based uh, actually uh, uh, innovations and uh, products so there are several like uh, educational institutions also from uh, uh, india who are uh, developing into r and d and developing into like a commercializable actually products and entities 
the next one is like a uh, internet uh, internet of things so with the uh, help of the uh, communication and telecom industry with the uh, with the huge growth uh, in this particular uh, uh, sector in the indian market uh, india has become actually powerhouse in uh, uh, telecom uh, actually uh, businesses and uh, india is one of the countries where the lowest rates of telecom are available in the entire world uh, as a, like a comparative basis uh, and uh, internet based uh, things and other like a uh, uh, allied actually uh, technologies they are finding actually place in the indian market and there there are several technology based actually interventions which are being developed in the india actually currently and advanced robotics so in this area also like india uh, is working very fast to develop like a automation plants automation like a uh, like a manufacturing units automated like a, a operators for like a like a several types of like a consumer based services and things so these are the actually uh, recent trends which are observed in the in the like a indian market and these are the actually areas which we as a designer engineer and architect can refer directly and can actually try for like a intervening and working into these areas for actually maximizing our like exposure with the industry and with the market uh well uh, the kind of strategies uh, which uh, are like adopted to boost like a uh, such level of like a uh, economic uh, uh, like a uh, uh, success is like a uh, using like a digital technologies using like a, a telecom using like a uh, other mediums of like a communication internet based communication faster tele uh, communication etc uh, focusing on the like a backward integration so india is actually working on integrating the uh, other uh, like a strata of the society the second so uh, strata of the society also like a, which is not so uh, like a, uh, able to cope up with the like other half of the society it focuses on integrating actually uh, the society for like a uh, the uh, growth in the like a uh, for the like a uh, times to come it uh, is, is trying to focus on the collaboration also establishing collaboration uh, between like a technological uh, like a houses between like a research institutions between like a different countries also so india is partnering with the several countries to uh, forge actually collaborations in uh, like a several r and d areas so what are the actually uh, if you see like uh, this particular table it talks about india's high potential manufacturing value chains have attained actually various levels of global competitiveness in the recent times so if you see over here like uh, even in the renewable uh, renewable energy actually uh, generation okay india has actually uh, pioneered its uh, technology and education and now india is one of the actually pioneering actually countries uh, which is working into the uh, this area and apart from this uh, there are several other these many sectors also you can see in the aerospace and defense so recently defense actually is one of the uh, areas uh, uh, which have been like a conventionally reserved only for the government uh, sector uh, related like uh, companies to produce actually defense related products but this is one of the actually critical sectors which the government of india has recently opened for the private players also where they can actually uh, design where, where they can uh, develop and uh, mass produce actually markets for the uh, products for the like a uh, consumption by the indian military uh, well in in, in uh, electronics and semiconductors also india has grown uh, uh, very fast and uh, it has a uh, uh, lost like a rapid growth in this particular area and uh, uh, computing power and uh, whether it is like a uh, providing like a uh, laptops and uh, you know other computing capabilities so india has actually grown uh, quite faster and a uh, number of like a uh, facilities are uh, coming up in india for like a uh, producing like a uh, semiconductor devices and other like a uh, processing uh, chips etc on the other like a conventional uh, like a manufacturing uh, areas if you see like a furniture leather rubber apparel textiles metal and other like a agriculture and uh, allied actually products and services chemicals and allied products so there are also like a, a medium range actually growth uh, is uh, like a registered and other like a conventional in the vehicle and uh, vehicle components capital goods and uh, pharmaceutical india has also registered a significant growth, uh, growth and uh, particularly in the pharmaceuticals india is one of the countries which is uh, supplying just if i talk about one product for example like vaccines so india is producing at least uh, uh, 60% of the world supply of the vaccine as far as like, last year is concerned so india has actually de uh, developed uh, humongous capacity of the like, manufacturing of uh, like a uh, uh, medical uh, uh, things also medical items also so india's uh, gdp actually uh, has uh, till the like last year in the year like till uh, year of like 2019 after the like, period of like globalization during this period india has actually registered a uh, handsome actually uh, rate of growth in terms of like a gdp and uh, yeah so overall uh, the uh, in the terms of the growth in the gdp and the productivity 
uh, India has actually grown significantly though there is a, a huge amount of actually improvement is needed in the uh, net employability factor also which uh, I think a governmental uh, and the governmental agencies must look into as a sector wise if you see like uh, these are the sectors which are uh, actually uh, pioneering the Indian uh, actually market and if you see that the chemicals agriculture and food electronics and semiconductors they are uh, in the top of the chain in the like a value chain actually uh, series over here and in the growth opportunity if you see that the, the domestic consumption itself of India is a uh, very robust and uh, very uh, like a uh, big so even if uh, uh, like along with the growing uh, like a uh, going uh, globally India itself is a big market for its own like a uh, products and uh, there is a huge scope of like a uh, consumption expanding the market further further well uh, there are some like a uh, potential uh, uh, like a uh, areas potential sectors also for like a uh, future uh, gain so you can see over here like a uh, uh, how much of like a uh, value they have added over the time so chemicals and uh, chemicals actually sector is one of the uh, biggest ones which has actually a biggest share in the domestic market itself over here you can see uh, with this black actually patch and overall this belongs to the chemical then comes agriculture food electronics semiconductor etc okay likewise here uh, three go uh, actually uh, growth boosters they have been identified over here uh, spanning like a 43 high productivity business opportunities and they overall in an overall sense they are contributed around like a 2.5 trillion actually us dollars to the economy by year 2030 that's a, that's a huge volume and i think uh, uh, if uh, india continues this pace of actually growth of its GDP, uh, gdp then uh, india uh, may surpass actually several other like a bigger uh, countries who have been conventionally holding actually the uh, top actually uh, numbers in terms of like uh, the growth of the economy and uh, yeah so disaster uh, if you see there are some actually preparedness also is needed actually to sustain and to uh, minimize the actually impact to this whole actually ecosystem uh, which has developed in the like, uh, recent year and recent decades so some uh, uh, like uh, corrective measures are also actually required to uh, take care of actually sustain so the preparedness is needed uh, uh, mitigation plans are needed a response actually a response frame a response actually framework should be actually prepared and recovery mechanisms and resilience uh, uh, these things actually should be worked out uh, in case like uh, there is uh, some impact on uh, the economy or the overall like a uh, well-being of the uh, people of the India so the one uh, this recent uh, impact what we are seeing is uh, because of this COVID scenario so quickly we can have a look like how this uh, uh, COVID actually uh, which originated in China has actually caused a kind of a catastrophic effect in India as well as the, across the world almost every country is now uh, suffering due to this virus so well uh, they, it has actually severe uh, impact on the economy also and uh, you may have read in the uh, news India has re uh, registered actually uh, growth of like a minus 23 percent uh, for its like a economy economy in the like a previous uh, uh, like a quarter in this year so this is a uh, really unfortunate so uh, we need to actually prepare ourselves we need to have actually resilient plan so that we can take care of society our our people our community in a very uh, sustainable way okay so major actually uh, consumer actually uh, cities and uh, places if we see so if you see there's just for like a uh, office supplies if you see bangalore actually consumes 25 percent okay hyderabad uh, uh, 24 percent ncr like a 20 percent and 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 so on and in the future supply split if you see across the segments so uh, scz beds and non scz beds uh, also is there so scz are uh, like a close to like a 27 percent one quarter almost and the other non scz so in, uh, actually uh, government needs to uh, focus actually on this non scz organizations also uh, manufacturing units also for, so that uh, they can also enjoy actually the benefits and the relaxation with the the uh, their counterparts from the ACZs uh, they uh, they actually enjoy. So uh, well, uh, government of India is uh, currently uh, uh, creating actually a land pool. Okay, you can see these uh, fingers uh, figures over here: four lakh sixty-one thousand five hundred eighty-nine hectares of like a, a piece of land as big as the twice the size of the uh, Luxembourg as a like a place where we can host actually industries who are moving out of the china in the like a recent times there are actually several uh, policy based actually changes which has come in the neighboring country and uh, because of this actually uh, several uh, co uh, companies 
multinational companies they are uh, actually uh, moving out of that country right now so how india can actually uh, take uh, uh, this as an opportunity and uh, uh, work it for it's like a benefit along with maintaining is like a sustainable like a growth and development that is actually challenge what we have so here uh, in the numbers you can see like how much of like a india uh, fdi is uh, uh, attracted by india china and uh, vietnam vietnam is also one of the actually major company uh, countries uh, which is uh, has uh, in the recent times emerged as a major hub of like manufacturing and uh, uh, other stuff well in the india if you see like how like a state governments and central government are like a planning to develop like a, a industrial corridor so they have created actually this uh, corridor connecting from kolkata to new delhi uh, till like a bombay and then to the bangalore and chennai over here you can see and this is the like a uh, andhra pradesh the vijak this is a, a port city over here on the shore of the uh, bay of bengal over here so how they are actually connecting uh, the different actually ports different actually manufacturing hubs of the india okay different actually transportation hubs of the india from where actually these uh, manufactured goods can actually uh, go out of the country uh, so these are the and uh, and the second actually map you can see over here these are the actually smart cities which are actually planned by the government of india so in the first phase are the uh, few number of like uh, 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 actually smart cities are actually in the plan of like uh, uh, their execution well others will follow uh, very soon okay so the presence of uh, like industrial and transport uh, infrastructure if you see so this is a uh, uh, called as a, like a golden quadrangle so which uh, these are the actually four uh, major actually uh, nodes of like a uh, india on the like a uh, geographical plan you can see over here which india is actually connecting to create uh, its uh, like a uh, industrial corridor so on these lines uh, only uh, major actually industrial corridors and major actually transport corridors are actually coming up where there will be like a dedicated freight uh, uh, carriage cor uh, corridor also on uh, on which actually uh, double tier uh, uh, freight uh, trains can also run very uh, very large capacity actually trains also can run so this is actually uh, a preparedness from india we can see and these are the actually 10 uh, uh, top states from india who have the actually highest uh, employability you can see starting from the, like uh, the andhra pradesh delhi gujarat this is, this is given in the alphabetical order so these are actually 10 uh, places so majorly actually uh, southern india western india and a part of like uh, this northern india including these two three states over here delhi uttar pradesh and uh, uh, punjab so they are uh, under the uh, highest uh, actually number with the employability actually uh, quotient okay so this is the actually last uh, slide of uh, this uh, uh, lecture over today so india has actually adopted a very fast pace of like a growth to increase uh, to uh, increase its like a gdp to involve actually every uh, citizen of india uh, to be a uh, party into the, this whole actually phenomena of growth and development and uh, in the year of like a 2019 you may have come across uh, this news like india has surpassed the uh, economies of france and the united kingdom and it is on the way to Uh, actually uh, behind this germany and japan which you can uh, we can see over here and it is projected by the year of like a 2025 20 2026 20, 20, or by 2027 okay we may be able to uh, surpass so with the best of the hopes for the indian economy and a sustainable growth and development we will close uh, this lecture right here thank you all